Hello guys, welcome to this Hex tutorial. This is part 2 of my Hex Beginners series. And in this video we're going to look at compiling to various platforms using Hex. So right now all we have is this Hello World program. And if we go into our builder.hxml file, if you look here, we're running in interpreter mode. And what that means is that um, Hex is taking this code and it's running it as hex code but an, another feature of hex is that it allows you to turn your code into other languages and in this video i'm going to focus on two platforms python and javascript but hopefully the process should be quite similar for other languages um, now one thing to keep in mind obviously is that because you're creating code for this different platform you need to have a compiler or an interpreter for that platform so for example the first thing we're going to do in this video is um, create python source code so we do need a python interpreter running so the same applies for any other platform so the first thing we're going to do is just comment out this this line you comment out using a hash symbol and what this does is it basically makes it so that when hex runs this build.hxml file it just skips this completely it doesn't even look at it and we're going to uncomment this one and what this does what this dash dash python means is that we're compiling to a python file and then here we specify where we want that file to be so we want this to be in a bin folder so we'll create a bin folder here and then inside of that folder we want a main.py file and if we actually build this by clicking ctrl shift b then as you can see a bin folder has popped up here and inside of it we have a main.py file so if we if we switch directory and go into the bin directory and now we use our python interpreter to run the file as you can see it's printed out hello world so that's how we um, build python code so now the next thing we're going to look at is javascript so for this it's pretty similar we just do dash dash js for javascript and then we write bin slash main.js Again, we're specifying the output path. So when we do Control Shift B again, as you can see, a new file has popped up here, and we, in using Node, we can run this file. And as you can see, it's printed out "Hello World." Now I'm not quite sure why these two are slightly different, because this one shows the origin of the output, but this one doesn't. But generally, the code that it makes should be pretty much the same so that's how you compile to those two platforms um, but like i said it should be pretty similar for other platforms as well now let's say we want to build both of these files at once um, using um, .hxml files we can actually do this so what we can do is we put all of these arguments at the top and uh, um, after that we put this each here and that means that all of these are applied to every single build task and then we put our python line and in between our python line and our javascript line we put this next and what this means is that these are two separate tasks and both of these inherit all of these arguments so really it's, it looks a bit like this something like this where these are applied to both of them so now if we go in here and change our code and um, we build it Now, if we run both of them, as you can see, this one's been updated. 
And if we run our main.js file, this one's also been updated. So this is how we can build to multiple to multiple targets at once. Now, another thing that's quite cool with Hex is that you can have it so that most of your program runs exactly the same for both the Python and the JavaScript or any other target platform. However, it also does give you the option to sometimes have different code for both of them. So the way we can do this is by using something called conditional compilation. And the way we do this is by putting a hash and then typing if, and then let's say we want to write code specific for JavaScript. So this code will be completely ignored when we're building our Python file, but it's going to be included in our JavaScript file. So we write if JS, and then we can write anything we want in here. You could use an API that's only available on that one platform, for example. But for now, or as an example, I'm just going to write hello JavaScript. So now we just um, end this block by writing hash end. So when we build now, when it's building the Python file, this all of this code is completely ignored. But when we're building to JavaScript, it will include this one line. And let's just show you that we can also do this with the Python. So we'll write hello Python. And we also end it here. So this will, should only appear when we compile to JavaScript. And this should only appear when we compile to Python. So now let's see if that's worked by building again. If we go to run our code, so let's run our JavaScript first, um, we should see that this line has been included, but this one has been ignored. So let's try that. As you can see, it's included this line. So it has worked. And if we run our Python code, as you can see, it's included this line and ignored that one. So this is how we would write code that's specific to each platform but our main program is still universal and we can also make this a bit simpler by using else if like that but it works fine like this so i hope you found this video useful if you did please leave a like if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. Feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss videos in this series and I'll see you next time in one of those.